Okay, this one's called a waffle weave. Or waffle cone. It looks like a waffle cone when you're all done. Um, so basically, you start off with your slip knot. Yeah, I know. I haven't figured out that really funky way of doing it, so. Yeah. So we slip knot. And you're going to do your base as wide as you want your project to be. Uh, three feet, four feet, two feet, whatever it is. And these are um, basically single chains. One, two. And you just keep going as far as wide as you want it. Okay. I didn't even count. <laughs> okay. So it's just a demonstration, so we'll do a couple more. Why not? Okay. When you get it as wide as you want it, go ahead and do two more. Just like that. And then bring your yarn over. And then in through where you stopped. Bring it in. Grab it again. Go through two, and go through two. That's called a double crochet. And you go over again, go through the next single chain here at the bottom, grab it, pull it through, through two, and through two. Over, next chain, and you keep doing that until you get all the way to the end. Over, grab it, bring it through, one, and one. So there's your last full chain. So you get to that point, go ahead and single chain two more, just like that. Rotate your work, so it's now on the other side. And then what you want to do is, so this is that one. I like starting off with inside the top of that bottom chain right here and over and then the next two I pull that chain forward pull that chain forward like that and go behind that chain over and the next one go right to the top of it so for this next row it is um, behind two and then the top of one so if you see that right here this one is the top I'm behind these two I'm on top of that one come around by the next chain here and go behind it Operate with me. Here we go. And then behind it. And then behind the next one. And then to the top of the next one. And you keep doing that all the way down to get your that row completed. And I will bring you back and show you what that looks like. And then we'll start the next row. So, and as you're doing this, it's okay to grab the bottom and kind of pull, just like that. And that way you can see your stitching up, down, up, down. Now, here in the last one, I have two of these posts left, but I finished off with two behind. So I'm just going to go through the top of those. One. And then go through the top of that one. 
Okay, and that's it. Now for the next row, go ahead and chain two. One, two, turn your work. So you see how that line is setting up? So now we want to do the opposite of what we did on the last one. Yeah. <laughs> so over, this is that post. So go through the top of that one and around. It, it'll be, and then, hold on. Make sure I'm doing this right. Nope. Go through the bottom of that one. So around the bottom of that post. And on the third row, it is under two in the top, under one through the top of two. So through the top of this one. Through the top of that one. And then behind the next one. And this gets easier as you get more of it done because you have more down here to hang on to. So again, over, through the top, through two, through two, over, through the top, through two, through two, over, under, through two, through two. So you see how we're set, how our, our block is now formed here and here? You just keep going with that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until you finally have the lengthy one. This is the width, a foot, two feet, three feet, doesn't matter. And then the length is however far you go or until you run out of yarn. Now, I will warn you, this pattern is a yarn hog. It does use quite a bit of yarn to get this all done. But the benefit is because it is a yarn hog, your fabric ends up being, if you're doing a throw blanket like this one, your fabric is really, really heavy. And it's really thick and really warm in the wintertime. So there you go. Um, another craft project. Um, did this one said before Garden State Garner because I know he likes crochet videos. Um, and I picked up crocheting only because of I get really bad arthritis in my hands, especially on rainy days like this. So it helps me um, kind of loosen those hands up, loosen those joints up, and keep going with it. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, learned something new. Um, I'm a guy, no special skills whatsoever, and I picked up, learned how to do this stitch a couple years ago. Um, so, I'm going to leave you one last question. What are you creating? And until next time, be safe, be blessed, and we'll see you soon.